A revolutionary road runs through the deserted southern outskirts of Talbisa, a dusty Syrian town. Front line of a war within a war, a sniper's paradise. A band of outlaws, Syrian revolutionaries from a hardcore gang of rebel fighters, runs for cover. The filmmaker Manny has embedded with the crack Farouk brigade of the Free Syrian Army. They've been fighting for a year. And it's been a long year. Many are battle-hardened veterans of Homs, the besieged city just down the road. A room full of thousand-yard stairs. An upper floor affords a good view of Target 1, a strategic checkpoint controlled by Syrian forces and gateway to Homs. Abu Saga, a former street vendor from Homs, is now an expert in the dark art of sniping. He fought in Baba Amr, the district of his home city in which hundreds of civilians and FSA fighters were killed. Abu Khalid, a local man, takes the M16. As the snipers snipe, a rebel rocket slams into target one. A helicopter gunship puts the fear of God into the Farouk fighters. The Farouk Brigade has recently captured two anti-aircraft guns. They claim to have already brought down one helicopter. For these Sunni Muslim men, the Syrian civil war is payback time. The Assad's ruling Alawite minority, in league with Syria's Shia Muslims, are the enemy. And as time's gone by, the sectarian nature of this conflict has gained in prominence. <laughs> A war child's playground in the abandoned villa that's now Farouk Brigade HQ. The Farouk Brigade is among the biggest in the Free Syrian Army. Their political coordinator is briefing his military commanders. Somehow, 
they've acquired high-resolution satellite imagery. The operation to capture the checkpoint is not going according to plan. Only three of the five FSA brigades who'd agreed to join the attack had turned up. One of them's already had to pull out. Among these men are military strategists and others who procure the weapons. The Paradise Song has become the soundtrack to the Syrian revolution. But the beloved nation is paradise no more. Talbisa, the desolate last outpost on the revolutionary road to Homs. Civilian life has been extinguished here. Rockets and rifles are bought on the black market using cash from Syrian donors, friendly foreign governments, and, we're told, from Islamist movements in the region. <laughs> Guns and other weapons are pouring in from neighboring Iraq as its conflicts died down. Feeding and funding the brigade is a fraught and complex business. Supplies have just been smuggled in. $100,000 just for ammo and 10000 to feed a hundred men. Many warn that it's extremists who will win this war. Some fighters of the Farouk Brigade are Salafists, men who practice a strict and puritanical brand of Islam, men for whom the alliance of Kalashnikov and Quran have powerful resonance. They insist they're not Syria's version of the Taliban in waiting. They don't see anyone in the free world, in the world, in the free world, yeah. they don't see anyone give, him, give this young man, give them support. Why? Because of the religious uh, looking we, we look. Why? What do you think? I think because of this. We look a religious, we look a Salafia. Yeah. It's it, if we are Salafia and religious, like what they say, is it something wrong? Is, is this the freedom they want? My freedom to be what I want to be, right? In Syria, the price of freedom is measured out in lost legs and arms and lives. More than 20,000 killed so far. The nest of snipers on the Farouk Brigade's front line took a direct hit. A tank shell from the Syrian army checkpoint tore the place apart. They're patching up the sole survivor. This is the stuff that mythology is made of. For an entire nation, it's very hard to comprehend the enormity of what has happened here. The sky, it seems, has fallen down.